Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, a mask mandate will continue inside businesses in Pensacola. This comes after a vote at tonight's city council meeting. The mayor recommended they repeal the mandate he first put in place three months ago. Cody Long joins us now live in Pensacola. And Cody, it sounds like council members don't think it's time to turn loose of the masks just yet. That's right. Tonight, all seven city council members voted against the mayor's recommendation. You wait until you have the need and then you deal with the mandate at that time. Mayor Grover Robinson says there is no longer a need for it. Coronavirus numbers have gone down, so he doesn't think there should be a mandate at this moment. All of our numbers have gone down significantly and we're at a very low ebb. Uh, at this particular time, our concern is more having the ability to have a tool like a mandate if something was to change and go the other direction. Mayor Robinson said even if the council had voted to end the mandate, he would have still had city employees wear masks and he would have encouraged everyone to wear them. I just think we're going to all be exposed to it eventually. So can't run away from it. Janet Leland had coronavirus earlier this year and said she got really sick but she still disagrees with a mandate. I think it should be our choice. Cindy Golzer wears her mask. She worries if she gets the virus and doesn't even know it. That's kind of scary. I don't want to give it to any of my clients because I do hair. She says the mandate has caused some people to not come into the hair salon where she works. Others put the mask on when asked. A couple of people would come in and not want to wear the mask, but you just have to ask them and they'd be like, okay, or either they'd leave. And the city council may revisit the idea of repealing that mask mandate after about another 30 days. Live in Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.